Hey, good Wednesday morning. Yeah, halfway through the week. It's hump day. Yeah, as they say on the radio or TV, I guess. But um, yesterday we had got good reports from Morgantown, West Virginia, as folks uh, came through their surgical procedures. So we thank God for that. Same, same type of report coming from Marietta, Ohio, and up in Willing, West Virginia. So, um, so I'm thankful for all those answered prayers. I'm, I'm thankful for the vaccine. And again, more and more people are getting their phone call to go and get their first shot or some have already finished and uh, had both shots. So, you know, I'm thankful for all those things. But there are folks watching this devotion today who they're trying to find help because they battle every day, every day they battle mental health issues, depression, anxiety. And, you know, sometimes medicine doesn't work the way that we hope it works. Sometimes counseling doesn't work the way that we want it to work, or at least as quickly. And so I'm praying for you. I'm praying for all those struggling with those those issues and and, and the families that that are walking on that journey with you. I'm praying for those struggling with addiction issues. We have folks reaching out to us, you know, since this pandemic, their families have been hit with um, gambling addiction and they're reaching out for prayer because they, they don't know where to turn and they're worried about their family. They're worried about their financial security. There are other folks reaching out because of alcohol and drug addiction. So, so the prayers continue for all of you. And the devotion I want to share with you today comes from Psalm 102, because the psalmist can relate to all of us who struggle in life. And, you know, it, it's Psalm 102. It's a prayer for an afflicted person. Uh, it's, it is. It's a prayer of an afflicted person who's grown weak and pours out their prayer before the Lord. And and how many of you can relate to uh, that person, afflicted person, and you're, you've grown weak, you've grown tired? But listen to what the psalmist writes. And this is Psalm 102, uh, verses 1 through 1 and 2. Hear my prayer, Lord. Let my cry for help come to you. Do not hide your face from me when I am in distress, and turn your ear to me when I call. Answer me quickly. And you know, the psalmist understood that when God's people cries out, God hears. And and where does that come from? Well, you can go all the way back to the book of Exodus <clears throat> when a new king arises in Egypt. And, and this new king realizes that the number of Hebrew people inside of Egypt is, instead of a, a good thing, he sees it as, as something that he needs to, you know, to take care of. So he assigns taskmasters over the Hebrews within Egypt. They become slaves. And, you know, the, the Bible says that God heard the cries of the Hebrew people and he saw their distress. That's what God says to Moses when God appears to Moses in the burning bush. So the psalmist understands that God, no matter where you are, I mean, it could be out in the middle of a desert and God's going to hear your prayer. Why? Well, because God got the attention of Moses when Moses was taking care of his, his father-in-law's uh, flock. And God had this burning bush, and God and Moses went over to it, and God spoke to him. And and so no matter where you are, God God is with you. But when we're in distress, it seems like we're alone. When we're in distress and we don't know what to do or where to turn, it seems like the hours just drag on. It seems like there's no one there. There's nothing there. And the psalmist can relate to a lot of folks watching this devotion today because the psalmist says, Hear my prayer, Lord. Let my cry for help come to you. And and then it says, Do not hide your face from me when I am in distress. Turn your ear to me when I call. Answer me quickly. Answer me quickly. And sometimes it's in that waiting period where we really get stressed out. It's in that waiting period where we doubt. It's in that waiting period where we question. It's in that moment 
where we need to trust God has heard our prayer and God sees and understands our situation. But sometimes that waiting is the most difficult time. And the psalmist can relate to a lot of us today in 2021. Many of you prayed for jobs and, and, and that they've been answered. Others have prayed for those same things and they haven't. Some have been praying to overcome addiction. And you're still struggling but you're still waiting, you're still trusting, you haven't given up, and God hasn't given up on any of us. So wherever you are today, I I encourage you to wait. Yeah, to wait. I know you're discouraged, I know, but but just wait and trust because God's going to get us through all those things that we're facing, not only in 2021, but I'm talking about personally in your own life. God knows those struggles. God hears those prayers. And none of us are alone. The Lord is with us. This is Pastor Bill from St. Luke's United Methodist Church, Harrisville, West Virginia, Ritchie County, West Virginia. Wherever you are, I hope you're happy, I hope you're healthy, and I hope you're safe. Have a great day, everyone, and God bless.